Among the many global challenges we face today, environmental degradation and loss of biodiversity remain of key importance, particularly in the context of climate change. In order to prevent ecosystem collapse and bolster biodiversity for a healthy global environment, the preservation of our wildlife has never been more crucial. The Elephant Listening Project at the Cornell Lab contributes to the conservation of biodiversity by focusing on forest elephants. They're key architects of the Central African Rainforest, the second largest block of rainforest on Earth. From acoustic monitoring of rumbles to thermal imaging, ELP incorporates a variety of revolutionary techniques to fight for the conservation of not only elephants, but of all biodiversity that shares the rainforest. Hi, my name is Peter Regg, director of the Elephant Listening Project. Today, I'll introduce some of the tools ELP uses to study elephants. At the core of all that we do is a method called passive acoustic monitoring, which is basically recording the sounds of an ecosystem without supervision. In the closed canopies of the Central African rainforest, it's extremely difficult and really dangerous to observe and track forest elephants. But we believe that eavesdropping on their characteristic rumble vocalizations could be key to their conservation. We venture deep into the forest to deploy acoustic recorders, specifically manufactured to endure the critters and harsh climate of the Central African rainforest. We record the sounds of the forest for many months, and then, in the lab, we process these sounds with great efficiency using detector algorithms specifically designed to pick out the sounds of elephant rumbles from the calls and chirps and howls of other animals. Through this process, we can assess how many elephants inhabit a specific area, where elephants are, and how their numbers and distribution changes over time. The usual method for estimating forest elephant populations is to count elephant dung along transects. An important limitation of this method, however, is that it is both non-continuous and really expensive. Passive acoustic monitoring enables us to monitor elephant populations continuously and at unprecedented scale. Acoustic recordings provide information not only on elephant rumbles, but any acoustically conspicuous species and, importantly, gunshots. This helps us understand where poaching is occurring and whether anti-poaching efforts are actually succeeding. Knowing the where and when of poaching is critical information for the national park managers in deciding how best to allocate resources for effective elephant conservation, particularly how to deploy anti-poaching patrols. To facilitate such information-based decision-making, we conduct all of our work in close collaboration with local decision-makers. Uncovering the resources of most importance to elephant communities is among the greatest challenges for conservation NGOs like the Elephant Listening Project. With these tools and methods of surveying elephants, ELP is making a difference in the conservation of forest elephants and the biodiversity they help to foster.